This is how much money you can make on average as a front-end developer in the USA. You don't need a university degree, the job is in high demand and you can learn everything that you need to know in 6 to 10 months. Wait, is it really that simple? Let's find out in this video. Hello fellow code junkies, I'm Lucas and in this video I will tell you about everything that you need to know if you want to get a good paying job as a front-end developer. I will give you a full step-by-step -step roadmap show you how long it will take you, what main topics you'll have to learn about and also share some tips with you that will help you along the way. Before we start, I put in countless hours of work to provide you the best and most educational videos possible for free. And all I'm asking for in return is that you like this video. I would massively appreciate it. Thanks and now let's get this started. As you may already know, there are many types of developers. You can become a front-end developer, a back-end developer, a game developer, a mobile developer, software developer, full-stack developer, and so on. But in this video, we focus on the roadmap for becoming a front-end developer. If you want me to cover the roadmap for other types of developers as well, comment down below, maybe I'll do another video like that. A front-end developer builds the user interface of a website or a web application. So the parts that the users see and interact with. I'm talking about buttons and other UI components, media, texts, animations, etc. Whatever you see when you visit a website was created by a front-end developer. Essentially, a front-end developer transform designs into code, but they don't do the actual design work. Yes, the demand for front-end developers and actually all type of developers is still high and is expected to get even higher. According to the most recent researchers, there will be a shortage of approximately 1 million developers in 2023, and especially good and experienced front-end developers are in high demand. It's very unlikely that AI will replace front-end developers anytime soon. Instead, AI has the potential to augment the work of front-end developers by making certain tasks easier and more efficient. And the role of front-end developers will evolve to focus on higher level tasks and decision making. So yes, AI will have a significant impact on front-end development, but developers have always had to be adaptable to evolve alongside technology. So that's nothing new. A front-end developer salary depends on a range of factors including skill set, level of expertise and location. While you get an average of $138,000 per year in California, you'll only get $62,000 per year in Vienna or $5,500 per year in Mumbai. Now if you're working for one of the top companies in California, you get even more. For example, at Meta, your starting salary will be around $140,000 to $180,000 per year as a front-end developer. In my opinion, that's a pretty good salary. But instead of working for somebody else, you can also become self-employed. For example, as a freelancer in this field. You can do it on a full-time basis or as a side hustle. And it could bring in even more money and offer more opportunities than a regular job. So there are many ways to make good money as a front-end developer. Let's take a closer look on how to get there with my 5-step roadmap. The first thing that you need to do is download a code editor. According to the latest Stack Overflow developer survey, 75% of all developers are using the code editor Visual Studio Code. I use it myself and I would recommend you to use it as well, because there are reasons why it is that popular. I'll link you the official download page in the description box below. The installation is quick and easy and this editor is 100% free. After the installation, you need to get a basic understanding of how to use this editor. You need to learn how to create, open and save files, get an overview of the user interface in general, learn how to add extensions and so on. But make sure that you don't spend too much time on that. Learn just the basics. I would recommend you to use the official docs for that. I'd put a link in the description box down below. Also make sure that you install the VS Code extensions Live Server and Prettier right away. With Live Server, you can run your code in your browser. And every time you change your code, 
it automatically refreshes the page in the browser. And Prettier is formatting your code every time you save your file to keep your code readable. It won't take you long until you realize how important these two extensions are. After that, it's time to start with HTML. HTML is used to form the skeleton or the base of any website. It lays out a website's general structure and content. All the elements that you see on the screen, like buttons, images, sliders, texts, etc., are all added using HTML. I would start with HTML only, so without any CSS. You really need to learn and understand the basics of HTML, like the document structure, what is semantic HTML and why you need to use it, how to add images and headlines and other elements. You can learn all those topics for free by using platforms like freecodecamp.com or w3schools.com or you can watch tutorials on YouTube. Watching tutorials can be a very useful way to learn to code, especially if you're a beginner. However, it's important to balance watching tutorials with actually practicing and applying what you've learned. Step 2 is about learning CSS using it in combination with HTML and then also start to use the browser dev tools to inspect and debug your code. So start by learning about the CSS syntax and selectors, the box model, display and positioning, flexbox and grid layout, as well as about media queries, relative units and CSS math functions so that you're able to create responsive design. You can learn all those topics and everything else you need to know for free as well. And you can use the same platforms and resources that I already mentioned. So freecodecamp.com or w3schools.com or you can watch tutorials on YouTube. Once you have that uh, basic understanding of CSS, you should get familiar with the browser dev tools. I would recommend watching a YouTube video about it. And after that, you can start working on projects where you use HTML in combination with CSS. And believe me, it feels great when you're finally able to create real projects. But make sure that you understand what you're doing and don't just stumble from one tutorial to the other. Take your time, learn the fundamentals good and start to create your own projects as soon as possible. This is probably the biggest and most important step. Since HTML and CSS are not considered programming languages, JavaScript is pretty much the first programming language that you'll learn. And for many front-end developers, this is also the only one they really learn. JavaScript is now the most commonly used programming language for 10 years in a row. And compared to others, it's actually pretty easy to learn, but it's still super powerful and has many use cases. I would recommend to spend at least two to four months to really learn JavaScript, for example, with a full course on YouTube. Once you really understand all of the fundamentals, you can start building projects with HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And once again, start to create your own projects as soon as possible and don't get stuck in tutorial hell. At this point, you pretty much learned about everything that you need to create awesome websites and web applications. You've learned HTML to create the basic structure, CSS to add styles to that structure, and JavaScript to make it interactive and to add functionality to it. But although that's technically enough to start as a junior developer, most companies still won't hire you. But they probably will after step five. So let's continue. Once you are familiar with JavaScript, you should learn a JavaScript framework. Almost every company uses JavaScript frameworks for their front end because they help you to easily create modern websites and interfaces in an organized way. You basically build different reusable components and then use these components to put together the sites. And that approach allows you to create faster and uh, more efficient. There are many different frameworks, but the top three major frameworks used in front-end development are React, Angular and Vue. Back then I decided to learn React. I would choose it again and I would recommend you to learn it as well for a number of reasons. Once you start working with frameworks like React, you'll also need to get familiar with the terminal because you will use it all the time for things like creating your application, installing dependencies or running your app in the browser. Make sure to really understand it and learn basic CLI commands so that you are able to navigate folder structures, create folders, create files, open documents and all that kind of stuff. 
At this point, you probably have the required skills for most jobs, but with this extra step, you make yourself a more attractive job candidate and that is very important since you always be just one of many applicants for a job in this field. The first part of this step is to learn the version control system Git. Pretty much all companies use Git to keep track of which changes were made, by whom and when those changes were made. So basically, Git helps you to track different versions of your code and it makes it easy for you to collaborate with other developers. Learn the basics, understand how it works and use it in your own projects. This shouldn't take much time. And the other part of this step is to learn a CSS framework as a more time efficient way to write CSS. I would highly recommend you to learn Tailwind CSS. If you already know CSS, you'll pick up Tailwind in no time. I'll link my new crash course, which should give you all the information that you need in the description box down below. And after that step, you are well prepared and ready to hit the job market. So yes, it is really that simple. Within only six to 10 months, depending on your learning pace and the amount of time you're able to dedicate to learning, you can gain all the knowledge that you need to get a job as a front-end developer. But be aware that even if you have all the skills that are required, you will still get plenty of rejections, especially if you apply for your first developer job. Just keep going and don't stop to believe in yourself. Before we move on to the next chapter, which probably is the most valuable chapter of this entire video, you need to know that if you want to become a good and successful front-end developer, it's not enough to just work hard for a few months, get a job, lean back and enjoy. No, as a good developer, you'll never stop learning again. Because there are always new languages, frameworks and technologies that you need to know about, so that you won't become outdated and get left behind. So keep that in mind as well. My four pieces of advice for every new developer. Focus on learning the fundamentals first and take your time for that, especially with JavaScript. As a front-end developer, currently it's really important that you learn JavaScript well because the JavaScript ecosystem is constantly evolving with new tools, frameworks and libraries being developed all the time. And the better you understand JavaScript, the easier it will be for you to pick up new technologies that are based on JavaScript. Have a roadmap and take it step by step, otherwise you'll get overwhelmed. There will be times when you doubt yourself and question your goals. And especially then, it is super important to have a clear plan so that you don't get lost. So stop looking for shortcuts, stay disciplined and stick to your plan. Don't get stuck inside tutorial hell. You start a tutorial, finish it, Try to start something on your own, but feel like you don't know what to do, so you start a new tutorial. That's what developers call tutorial hell. Almost every developer spends a fair share of time inside the tutorial hell, and believe me, you want to make sure that you don't get stuck in there as well. The key to escaping tutorial hell is to apply what you've learned and to keep practice. Don't use ChatGPT or AI in general in the beginning. Instead, make sure that you really understand what you learn and get familiar with all those topics that you need as a front-end developer. And then, and only then, start to include AI tools like GitHub Copilot, Tab9 or ChatGPT into your development process. Because if you know what you're doing and understand the concepts and topics, you can use AI in the most efficient way to really boost your productivity. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope this video provides you the answers you're looking for and gives you a good overview on how you can become a front-end developer in 2023. If so, I would massively appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next one. Ciao!